My journey began far from any laboratory. I grew up in Amman, Jordan, in a refugee family of 10 children, in a home with no running water and no electricity, sharing our space with livestock, our family's livelihood. Hardship was everywhere. My chances for success were slim, except for the surprising ways nature reveals itself and helps us overcome. My turning point came at the age of 10 when I discovered drawings of molecules in my school library. Their beauty and mystery captivated me. And when I learned that they are the building blocks of everything living and non-living, they ignited my passion for chemistry and I was hooked forever. It became my escape, my direction, and my life. Another childhood experience shaped me just as deeply. In the desert, water arrived from the government once every week or two. I remember the whisper through our neighborhood, the water is coming, and the urgency as I rushed to, to fill every container I can find before the flow stopped. Many years later, while studying how moths take and release water, I recognized something revolutionary in what seemed like an ordinary behavior. I saw how this moth can pull water from desert air and turn it into clean drinking water. It echoed the rhythm of my childhood, yet now offered a solution to the very hardship we had once endured. I often wonder whether I would have recognized that pattern of data had I not lived it first. But moths, deeper lesson lies in their metaphor. A moth strength comes from the bonds between its molecules, just as our future depends on the bonds we build across nations and generations. Moth science is now practiced in more than 100 countries inspiring young people everywhere, especially in the developing world. And here lies our greatest hope, a science capable of reimagining matter and a generation eager to move it forward.